Uhuru Park in Nairobi has one of the few public smoking areas in the city. Samson Dirango has been smoking two packs a day for 30 years. I just can't stop. I have that funny feeling I can't stop. I stop today, tomorrow morning I get out of the bathroom, I start nose bleeding. The government proposed stricter regulations two years ago, including additional and more graphic anti-smoking warnings on cigarette packs. As well as imposing existing taxes on cigarettes, the government wants compensation from tobacco companies to help pay for research and health programs which encourage smokers to stop. I think this will be a big step for our country uh, to an extent that more people will be more aware and when the, the regulation finally come into effect, we'll be able to, to, to move around and educate our people more. Last year, the major cigarette producer, British American Tobacco, took the government to court saying it was not consulted when the new laws were proposed. It says, we do not oppose sound evidence-based regulation that has gone through a formal consultation process and that delivers its policy aims without backfiring. Following a ruling against BAT, lawyers returned to court to appeal the legal setback. Economists say Africa is increasingly seen as an attractive market for global cigarette companies. The population's growing and some people have more money to spend. Anti-smoking groups say cigarette companies are putting profits before people's health and using underhand tactics to get anti-smoking laws dropped. Kenya's Supreme Court is expected to decide at the end of July if the new regulations will be implemented. The Cancer Civil Society Association says while the court battle continues, the number of smokers will grow. And they say 6,000 Kenyans die annually from tobacco-related illnesses. It's really a delaying tatty, which works well for the industry. The more legal obstacles you place, the more bureaucratic uh, obstacles you place, that means that we will take much longer to put in place regulations that actually will save lives will save Kenyans uh, from dying. While the World Health Organization says the number of smokers outside of Africa is declining, anti-smoking groups say that compared to Western countries, cigarette companies are not raising as much awareness in Africa about the dangers of smoking. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Nairobi.